Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio today. Please come check out the studio the next time you're in Oakland, California. And also remember that you can now purchase my book, Yoga for Healthy Aging, on my website or from a link on my website, baxterbell.com. And you can also order t-shirts from that same website. Um, make sure to order up a couple sizes. They tend to run a little bit on the small side. So today we're gonna to do a version of Sage's Twist or Marichyasana 3 Twist, but we're gonna use a chair. This is a very helpful variation if you have trouble these days getting down to the floor easily, or maybe you suffer an injury that again makes uh, transitioning from standing to, to sitting on the floor very difficult. You can use a chair and get some of the same nice benefits for the mobilization of the spine with that twisting action that we do in the lower version. So you'll need a chair. Um, I'm putting a blanket on the chair seat to lift my uh, hips up a little higher so that they're at about the same level as my knees. But if you're a little bit smaller, you might not need that lift. And then you can use one or two blocks stacked in front of your chair. So without further ado, let's check this uh, version out. So you're gonna sit near the front edge of the chair and extend your left leg straight out with the heel on the floor. And then I've got two blocks stacked up on their shortest height. You could also do this with just one block depending on how that feels for your right hip. If you can get the knee up to higher, then certainly go for the taller stack. Once you're set, hold on to the knee and get a nice lift up with your spine. So you feel like you're trying to encourage a little bit of a natural arch in your lower back. From there, take your right hand and find the back of the chair where your hand can press firmly into the blanket or the chair seat. And then let's inhale, just stretch the left arm up for a moment. And we're gonna make it a very easy thing where we're just gonna take the hand around to the knee, just kind of draping it around the front of the knee, lift the spine, and without pulling with the arms, but really turning with the muscles in the center of the body, turn the upper belly and chest to your right. So coming into the Marichyasana 3 or Sages twist number three pose with a little turn in the spine. Now sometimes I'll actually float my left arm up and just use my core muscles to turn to make sure that I'm really not overpowering my common sense by jerking into the twist with my arms. So this is another variation for the hand or the arms as well as the hand on the knee. After you're there for maybe six breaths, up to 12 breaths or even longer, on an inhale, slowly unwind, and then bring both feet down to the floor for a moment. You might even move your ribs around a little bit or do a little seated cat cow to release any tension that might have built, built up in the chest. To do the second side, you just take your foot and slide your blocks over to the left. Take your right leg out, sitting near the front edge of your chair, step your left foot up onto your block stack and sit nice and tall. Again, we're gonna take the left hand now and bring it back to the back edge. I'm gonna be turning away from you, um, uh, so just keep that in mind. So we're gonna take that right hand and just bring it around the front of the knee. The straight leg is active, sitting nice and tall. On an exhale, very gently begin to turn the upper belly and chest so that you make sure you're not using the arm to pull you in. Very gentle, stabilizing action with that right hand on the left knee. Sometimes I find that it's helpful to move the left hand to a new spot so it feels more stable. And then if you want to do the hands-free version, bring your arm up in the bird wing position, get tall again, and then on the exhale, let the upper belly and chest turn a little bit more to your left side. Again, you're going to stay for six breaths or more, your choice. And on an inhale, slowly unwind, come out, bring both feet down, circle the ribs a little bit, do a little sitting cat cow, whatever feels nice for your chest at that point. And that will bring you to the completion of today's pose, the seated version of Sage's Twist 3. Hope you have fun playing with that this week. Give that a try in your home practices. Remember, you can also follow me on my website, baxterbell.com, and on the blog site, Yoga for Healthy Aging. You can also find longer practices on the practice channel at yogauonline.com. Until the next time, thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.